What is going on, everybody? It's your Slab Train, and welcome back, guys, to another episode of Forza Motorsports 5's Live Calm Drift Build. Today is going to be episode number four, and I figured we'd do something a little bit different. Now, the usual plan to these videos is that we go into the buy car section, I kind of pick my own car that I want to drive, I upgrade it, I bring it into a lobby. Great, it's an awesome plan. Today, though, we're going to do something a little bit different. Instead, this time, we're going to pick a completely random car. Now, I don't know what this car is going to be whatsoever. What I'm going to do is I'm going to completely randomize through my screen. I'm just going to hit the bumpers, you know, move the triggers, whatever. Move anything that I can possibly move while closing my eyes. Now, that's the key thing. My eyes will be closed on this. And going forward, what I'm going to be having you guys do is in the comment section below, I want you guys to comment one car that you guys would like me to see me do. And what's going to happen next week is I'm going to go through these comments, I'm going to screen capture it exactly like I do my Drifting on a Budget videos where I go through and pick a gifted part. I'm going to choose that car for next episode. So, guys, pick your cars. Ladies and gentlemen, choose whatever car that you want to choose. Um, try to keep it affordable, you know, anything. Well, you know what? I will have the money by then, alright? Don't you worry about that, I'll have the cash. Um, but just throw up any car that you guys would like to see me drive, and um, we're going to get that going. So, today, here we go. Oh my god, we're going to be randomizing this shit? This is going to be insane. So, my eyes are currently closed right now. I'm moving the left stick. My damn bumpers, you can hear them, man. They're clicking right now. They're clicking. And we're going to give it down to a 10-second countdown. Or, you know what? That's way too damn long. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, stop. Oh my god, the Punto Super Sports. Oh my god, though. Alright, that's it, though. At least we get it for free. I mean, that's a bonus, right? So the key to this, though, is that we have to bring this into an open lobby. Or not an open lobby, but a hopper lobby. So, free car, man. I can't complain. Appreciate it, Turn 10. Thank you very much for that. So, main thing on this car is I'm going to slap the biggest engine I can... Okay, hold on. Ooh, thanks, girl. She sounds so calm, you know what I'm saying, when she does it? Very, very calm, you know what I'm saying? Alright. So, right now, let's go into here and um, let's go into the upgrade section of this. And let's see what we can do for these engines right now. I'm hoping we can do a big old V8 or V12. Come on now. Ah, V6. Okay, okay, that's alright. We'll throw in the V6. What else is left here? Oh, it's just a 1.6. Yeah, we're definitely throwing in a 3.7 liter in this puppy. 34 G's out the window, uh, drivetrain swap, we need that, we need rear-wheel drive, thank you very much. That's another 5,000, oh my god, man, we're gonna be broke by the end of this thing. And, we're gonna twin turbo this thing, you know what, we're gonna completely max this damn engine out, we're gonna try and tune it from there. So, twin turbos, I think, will give me the best possible horsepower right now. Aerodynamics, what do we got? Oh my god, look at that front lip, that actually doesn't look that bad, I mean, it could be worse, you know, eh. I want to do it just because of the lip, and I think this is going to look dope once we uh, slam this thing. So I'm going to do it with the front lip on there, just because of the front lip, alright? That's it. Oh my god, look at the wing. Look at the damn wing right now! I'm debating if I should use this. Uh, no, I'm not going to do it. We'll see though, depends on, you know, how fast this thing actually gets going, but I don't think we're going to need the wing. We're going to go with the sport tire grip. I always use sport tires, guys. It doesn't matter what build I'm using. Um, obviously, unless it comes stock with drag or race tires, but that's usually my plan with a lot of the builds is to go with a sport tire package on here. And um, yeah, so we got 235s, looks like, on the front and back. It's not too damn big, but it is kind of big for the actual car that we are driving. Now, I have a special episode today. Uh, we have a brand new wheel that I'm going to be showcasing in this episode for you guys. It's the, uh, you know what, I'm not even going to tell you right now. It's a brand new wheel, though, alright? So, Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Um, I got a brand new set of gloves as well too that I picked up today. Um, I was actually going to get a set of Sparkle racing gloves and that was my original plan and you know do the whole crazy wheel cam with the Sparkle gloves but um, I figured you know I did a little bit of research on them and those gloves are crazy man not even in terms of price wise because the price wise is absolutely insane but these gloves though are you know they are hefty made gloves they are specifically made for racing and you know they're fireproof and they have these thick fingers and I thought to myself I mean really I can't use these for what I want to do um, so I decided against it I didn't do it um, 
and essentially I just got a, a different set of gloves. So I hope you guys do enjoy them at least, and you know, tell me what you guys think of the whole setup package. But uh, so here we go back to the build right now. We're gonna be putting in pretty much everything in terms of suspension, um, all that stuff. So and you know what, right now, let's see what how much weight is in there. I don't know why I backed out. Don't even ask me about that. This thing is gonna be 2,600 pounds with I'm hoping about. 800 horsepower that's my plan anyways i would love to see this thing get up to 800 horsepower and the way that we're going to do this is we're going to tune this first and then we're going to go into the lobby so we're going to get a chance to you know fine tune this thing see how it runs um and then go in from there all right uh suspension oh man okay that's not that much but it still looks dope though i'm not gonna lie especially with those fist rims on there all right um in terms of engine here let's just go quick upgrade which we should have done already i don't know why i didn't do that uh, we're gonna bring this. Oh my god, yo! 875 horsepower. That is completely maxed out. That is an S class Punto right now. Oh my god, though. This thing is gonna be absolutely banana sandwich. I'm gonna tell you this right now. So, let's have a look at this. Maybe we'll throw on a quick paint from the vinyl section or whatever. We'll find a new design for these things. I'm not painting this damn thing. I'm not putting my name on this. This is gonna be absolutely a death trap. All right, my designs. No, I don't want the my designs. I want to find new designs. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Ah, all right. So, if you guys are enjoying these episodes, make sure you guys slap that like button as well, too. Let's try to get this to at least 500 likes, John. I know you can do it. That actually looks damn well dope. I'm not going to lie. I mean, my fist grim is going to go to black, but at least it looks okay, though. We could do some DC paints on this thing, and I think this thing would be absolutely crazy with that paint. Um... I'm down to do something nuts with this thing here. It's going to be kind of crazy. I, I don't know of any other word to really say for this because this is going to be insane. Um, you know what? I'm down for the white and gold, I guess, or white and like puke yellow or piss yellow, whatever that thing is. Definitely doesn't look like a yellow that I'd rock, but we're going to rock it for today, though, all right? Jeez, man, this is going to be insane. But, guys, I will see you on the track. Oh, my God. What's the wheel? What's the glove setup going to be like? Here we go. Alrighty, gentlemen, so here we are, and yes, guys, we have the brand new GTE wheel right now from Thrustmaster. I will leave a link in the description box below for you guys if you guys are interested in picking this up right now. Amazing wheel. It has a rounded base to this guy. Um, really more of a drifter's wheel, if you say. Now, it's actually weighted a little bit differently than the 458 uh, Ferrari wheel is, and it feels really nice. It has a really nice um, force feedback motion on it. You have all these really crazy buttons. Now, the only downside of these buttons is, is that you don't know what they do unless you actually try them out and you see how they go. Now, this wheel is absolutely great. It's got the little line to see where you're at at the middle. And yes, guys, we went out and we picked up a set of Under Armour baseball gloves. Now, these are just kind of just kind of more of an addition to the actual, uh, I, I guess, the wheel cam. Gives a little bit more of a spice to it. And it also lets me kind of grip the wheel a little bit better. Um, and, you know, I mean, when it's rotating out of my hands, this and that, I can actually catch it a little bit faster when it grips. So we're going to give this a shot. Now, we have our Punto right here with... 800 plus horsepower, which is absolutely insane. Um, we're just going to take this to the section right now, and we're just going to run this here. So let's see how this thing does. We just took off in second gear, and no damn issues whatsoever. This thing is going to be insane, man. I'm telling you this right now. Woo! Okay, okay. We're getting a little bit crazy with this here. God, man. This thing is absolutely banana sandwich. Oh, man. I don't even... I don't even know how this thing's gonna take the first section. Now, we're gonna run this once, we're gonna see how the car performs, and then we're gonna tune the car accordingly. So let's do this here. Oh, this thing is a big bitch to get going though. Oh, definitely overshot that, okay. This thing is a lot lighter than I expected. Let's just try to continue this drift out though. There we go, let's let the car slip and do its thing. A Little bit of fourth gear. Our weight is the issue right now. We're way too light for the amount of horsepower that we're running. Um, so what that's going to mean is I'm going to have to stretch out these gears a lot. Um, I feel like you know we're getting too much high of a gear. And that's the twin turbos acting up. It is 100% those twin turbos. So, or we'll just use less of the throttle and you know we'll maybe put some more camber to the tires. Because once this thing gets going, man, it's gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, look at this. Just banging third gear. 
no issues whatsoever in this little guy. So, overall, nice damn car. It feels great. It's quick. Let me just get a quick drink of my McDonald's shake, though. It's a dollar right now. What do you know? Ah, it's actually pretty damn warm right now. That sucks. All right, so let's go into the tuning section right now of this. And, um, and overall, first impressions of the gloves feel really nice with the wheel. They really do. Um, tire pressure. Now, we want this thing to be a little bit lower. We got a lot of damn horsepower. Um, I don't want this thing having too much contact. Or, sorry. Yeah, I want this thing to have as much contact to the road as possible. My mistake on that. We're going to also decrease the camber, if not anything we're gonna put this right to zero and see how it works out uh toe we're gonna increase a little bit and uh caster angle as well two to six oopsie um anti-roll bars now we're gonna stiffen these things out completely we don't want this thing to be you know as jerky as it is yes it's a solid base right now but we really need to stiffen this thing out a little bit more to give it um, a little bit more power and stability as we do so. So ride height, I'm going to drop this thing completely. Um, we don't really have any kind of area right now that we're going to need to really have any kind of clearance in the drifting except for those little rumble strips, which I hope doesn't cause us, cause us any issues whatsoever. Um, we want this thing to be kind of more in terms of speed. So we want essentially what this downforce is going to do it's going to stop us from spinning out so that speed on there is going to help us um, with kind of the speed duration and you know when we rip it to the side and when we initiate it's going to try and catch it as much as possible and kind of help us out so hopefully that's going to help uh rear braking on this and we're going to put it to 111 percent and of course a full diff lock actually you know what we may decrease the acceleration and increase the deacceleration to 100 we're gonna see how that works i don't know um we got a lot of horsepower i'm gonna try something new something different let's see how we do right now here we go and we're not getting as much wheel spin which is good that's what i'm looking for here we go oh shit not having any camber on these back tires the car is oh shit i didn't mean to do that Went right into the damn fifth gear by accident. Here we go, here we go. Oh my god, it's the weight again, man. This thing is literally sliding out. So, what we're going to do is, I'm going to go back. I'm going, oh, my bad. That's way too far back. Yo, I'm going to go back and put in the weight back into the car. I feel like that's going to help us out immensely with this build. Just because, like I said, you know, all this weight and power is absolutely insane. We're probably, with the amount of weight that we have on this thing, geez, we're probably pushing like... 1200 horsepower with this in terms of a power to weight ratio right now. Let's see how much exact weight we have in this thing Oopsie wrong spot um, There we go All right, so we have a total of 2800 pounds It's actually not that bad to be honest with you But we're gonna put this back into uh, 3200 and we're gonna leave in the racing roll cage in here to give it as much weight as physically possible So let's go back in we're gonna tune our car one more time We're gonna see how this thing runs one more time and then after that. Oh, I think I picked the wrong damn course I think I did actually all right, we're gonna run it, see how it does, and then we're gonna head into an actual online lobby, see how we do, and hopefully we can maybe finish in you know first, second, or third position. I mean, I'm hoping so. That's the plan right now. I'm just gonna do one run on it. Not gonna do anything crazy. Just gonna see how this thing rides, and that's really about it. Cause I think that we nailed the power with the actual uh, like differential on that acceleration part of it. Cause now the tires don't want to spin as much, which is a big thing. It's huge. There we go. Let's go, baby. Look at that. Third gear does not want to spin anymore. That is what we want to see right here. This is going to be a massive initiation. Oh my god. Alright, here we go. Oh shit, the rumble strip though. Okay. Man, this thing is a monster though. Jeez. Here we go. See how it's kind of gripping more now? That's that weight coming back in, man. We just gained in 300 pounds. We just have a passenger in our... Well, that'd be a big passenger. But anyways, though, we got a passenger, whatever. Going to the wrong gear by accident. Here we go. You know what? I'm feeling like we need our differential back up to 100. Um, car just isn't as stable anymore without that. And I feel like because of the more weight, we need that more acceleration now. So everything plays hand in hand, guys. And that's what I love about tuning cars is that once... You do one thing to change it, seven different other things come up and appear. But overall, though, I mean, the car feels nice. I mean, simple right here, man. Look at this. No issues. Oh, shit. Don't flip. That was a close one right there. 
That was real close. All right, tune mode. We're gonna put this up back up to 100 diff, and then we're gonna be pretty much finished with this guy right now. We're gonna just head right into a lobby, guys. So I will see you when we get into the hopper lobby. Alrighty guys, welcome back. We are on Prague right now. This is going to be insane. I was not expecting this track to be honest with you and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to, well, I think we will. I don't see any issues at all with holding any lines on Prague, but this is going to be an intense damn race. I can already see this right now. This car has got a lot of power. Um, very, very kind of unpredictable if you say. Um, this V6 though, man, it's going to get down. It definitely will. 3,300 pounds, little over 800 horsepower, well, close to 9, actually, we're like, high 8. I don't even know what's going to happen right now, man, I really don't. It's going to be insane, though. Bro, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right, let's go, man. Full reverse, too, we're not even doing the proper, this is reverse? Okay, okay, let's do this. Hopper lobby, this guy's got a 458 in here. We're going to crank up my audio a little bit. And let's go sliding, gentlemen. Oh, shit. I was not even looking at the map. My bad. Oh, my God. That's what I get for looking around at the scenery. Jeez. All right. We still got time, though. Now, that 458 in here does have um, drag tires on. So, well, he's got race tires, at least. So, what that means is that we're going to have a little bit more grip than what we usually did on have actually I don't even know what position I'm in on this here so I may have to go back you know what this is gonna be bad I'm gonna be sitting right here but I gotta change up my damn shit though I gotta see my points and everything like that HUD where are we going uh lap time and positioning on oh damn it default and drift HUD on okay we're good we're good we're good on the fly tuning what do you know oh shit on the fly tuning what do you know about it all right trying to get back in here hopefully Maybe we're going to start this off a little bit better too, man. We had a terrible first couple corners. Absolutely brutal. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Punto. Sounds like Punto, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> this is terrible. All right, here we go. Now we're getting it. Be careful for this wall, though. We got a lot of horsepower. Oh, we wall tapped that shit. Okay. Game DVR said that was nice. Let me record that for you. Oh, no. No. We're going to be playing this real outside right now. I'm about it though. Drop it into fourth. I think we got this. Oh shit. Okay, okay. Wheel feels really nice, man. Really does. Um, it's so much better than the 458 wheel in terms of, you know, the shape of it. Before, you know, I'm trying to throw around a car that really should not be drifting in the first place. And that wheel is not ergonomically made for it as well, too. So it's very, very different shape. Um, but this is this is a great shape, man. This is a perfect size wheel. Hell of a lot better than... Oh, no! Oh, I didn't even lose it! I did lose my mirror, though, and I'm actually kind of upset about that. I'd rather have lost a point than the mirror. And that's a true statement, gentlemen. Looks so damn awkward right now. But we are killing it. Oh, no! Oh, oh my God! What do you know about this life? Nothing, gentlemen. That was insane. We just held two back-to-back -back crazy angles right there. I wish we could have had wheel lock in there, but we didn't. Look at us getting these damn points right here. This is insane, though. Holy shit! Alright, we're not even getting any points right now, but we're sliding, though. Oh, no! Don't go over it! I am. Oh, we're still good! We're still good! Look at this. We're still in third place right now, and this track is treacherous, man. That's one lap down. That was a crazy damn one lap. This is going to be an epic three lap race right now, though. I'll tell you that. Okay. Let's settle this down a little bit here. Let's get this going. We're going for first right now. We're going for gold, gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, don't hit the wall. Oh, my God. Thank God. Put it into fifth gear just to stop the wheel rotation, but keep them spinning ever so slightly. Oh, we got it. We got it. We're holding it. Oh, shit, man. I don't even know what the hell I'm going on. But we just did. We just grabbed second place. And I don't know how long we're going to keep it. Nope. We lost it pretty damn quick. Now, the only problem with this wheel is with the way that I'm positioned, it's very tough for me to see 
exactly where my hands are at with the red dot on the top. So that's my only problem with this right now, especially because of the shape of the wheel. My, I, I don't really have a point in where the wheel is supposed to be. So in turn, you know what I'm saying, like with the 458 wheel, I would, I would kind of know the feeling of the wheel and know where it was in terms of rotation. Now this one, you know, when the wheel starts spinning left and right, my mind loses track of whereabouts that wheel is sometimes, and that is the only downside of this wheel. But overall though, I love it, man. I absolutely love it. The weight is absolutely amazing. Um, feels a lot more realistic than the 458 does for damn sure. Like when we went up on that curb right there, I felt like I was on top of that curb. Definitely felt like it, man. It was absolutely sick. Now, do not get me wrong, the 458 wheel, oh, okay, I'm, the 458 wheel is an amazing wheel right now, but, um, this just has a date to it, and I can't really explain it, it's about me, oh, that guy's lagging like crazy, it's about maybe, I would say, less than, like, two pounds heavier, but that makes a huge difference when you're getting, you know, the wheel to spin so quickly, and you guys can really, I don't know, you probably can't tell, but, oh, shit, that's not good. That is definitely not good that we just did that. Alright, here we go. Let's get this back on here. Hopefully we can pull something off. Again, we're not point strifters here, guys. You know this. But we will throw this bitch in sideways. Oh, baby! Here we go. Hit that e-brake a little bit. That's another big difference from the other two wheel or the other wheel is the positioning of the e-brake now it's very it's i don't know it's similar but it's in a different spot altogether now that's the only issue and a lot of you guys are saying you know stop moving your hands so quick it's the way that i have my degrees set on my wheel now i'm running um an 80 oh sh oh yes i'm running um an 80 force feedback on this guy with a 900 degree rotation the reason why i'm running 80 is because the way that my setup is my wheel on my table shakes everything, and I really wish... Oh, baby Jesus! Oh, shit, there goes something right there, I told you! Shakes everything, guys, that was my PS3 controller falling off my damn desk because of the damn shaking of it. But overall, though, man, like, it's very tough in terms of getting this wheel to keep going on 80 force feedback. Now, I wish that I still had my play seat everything like that because this wheel would feel absolute oh shit would feel absolutely perfect with the play seat that i had but for now though we're just going to kind of get used to the way that this wheel feels at 80 and you know that's actually a lot of people didn't know this but when i was playing forza 4 with the fanatic wheel that's exactly the way that i had my fanatic set up and a lot of you guys said you know my, my hands were a little bit shaky but we still got the tandems gentlemen now i understand oh shit too high I understand that um, in order to, you know, become smoother on the wheel, you really need to be very smooth, and that was beautiful. And at times, I can be really smooth, and it's just a matter of getting used to it. Now, I mean, keep in mind, we are driving an absolute monster. God! Did not expect that to happen. Well, I did, but just not in that kind of thing, I guess. I don't even know. This thing's too crazy, man. It just makes me go insane, you know what I'm saying? Alright, so let's get this back going here. Fourth gear running. 3,000 points on this and I mean overall I think we're doing okay I mean we're putting down a solid respectable score right here as long as we can break that hundred thousand mark I'll be happy and I think we will there we go 101 oh okay so I pull this back though no issues whatsoever we got to finish this damn race right now all right so we are on a mission to finish this damn race we got a little bit far back because of the fact that we adjusted our settings really early in the race oh shit i think we'll be okay as long as we do not spin out oh no here we go oh shit i'm more worried about just getting these damn points right now and trying to come in second than the clock and it's gonna kill me oh no that could have been a decider. We're going to see how many points we're down, hopefully. Shit, we're just grinding the hell out of this wall right now. I feel terrible. 360? We are in an all-out just sprint, and I'm not doing very well right here. 
Alright, you know what? Screw this damn thing. My foot is to the floor and it's not helping me whatsoever, especially in third gear. Alright, we got lots of time right now. Forget the points. We're done. We're out. Let's just come to steady closure to this race, man. It was a pretty damn tough battle. I hope you guys did enjoy this. We're going to finish it off with 107,000 points with an almost 900 horsepower Punto. Um, I don't know what else you guys want me to do. This thing is absolutely a monster. It's a beast. This thing should not be on any track whatsoever. So if you guys see a thing in the lobby that looks like this thing, you kick this shit right out, man. It's crazy. This thing should not be driven. But, gentlemen, that... Oh, shit. Okay, we got 70K for that. Uh, that'll be for next episode, looks like. But, gentlemen, though, thank you guys very much for coming around today. If you guys did enjoy the episode, make sure you guys slap that like button. You know what I'm saying? And also, too, make sure you guys comment in the uh, comment section below what car you the guys would like me to see for next episode. So, to put a slap train, I'm out. Peace.